Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of moderate ages, welcome back to This is the Police. I hope you guys have been keeping well. That is quite an introduction. I don't think I've ever done an introduction like that for This is the Police. Uh, we are back with uh, This is the Police on a day 159. So let's keep, let's go let's go into this. Let's go into this head first without even thinking about what the fuck we're doing. Free Work Tribune. Milk Factory buys milk from farmers in subsidized rate. Alright. Municipality to save on snow removal. Shooting gallery owner nearly shot by drunken client. That's, uh, that's, that's not a good combo. That's not a good combo at all. Police, what the hell? I have nothing for the police station? Police station no like me? Why no police station no like me? Uh, so I found out a couple things. Um, the union hall. There's a couple of things that we can take care of there. I need to take my car into the shop. Can you spare me today? Are you, are you not doing an investigation? I thought you were doing an investigation. Uh, I want to, uh, yes, sure. There's a big sale coming. No, you're not going on. I'm not fucking giving you the day off. I drank too much. Okay, yes. I drank too much. Okay, there's uh, gonna be some firings happening relatively soon because of the drinking. Seriously, like this is getting to a point where it's getting fucking ridiculous. Guys, come on, think twice. You're professionals here, somewhat. Act like somewhat professional here. So. Uh, Aaron Huber turned out to be a member of the gang known as the Church. They could help you take down the gang if you make him an informant. Uh, yes, I need more gangs to take out. Look at the bishop! This guy! Who keeps giving us fucking, uh, missions and, like, 45 bucks. Interrogate. Oh, let's do this! Let's begin this! Aaron Hubert, he's a male, he's 31 years old. Medical information, he was born with a partial hearing impairment, which due to aggress aggressive and intensive treatment has grown into an increased hearing sensitivity. As a result of a difficult childhood and harsh living condition, he suffered from panic attacks and has serious psychological problems with his heat tolerance. Oh, so he can't deal with heat, okay. Additional info, born in Petra Tolst to, uh, that place, Austria, Austria, at the age of eight, he and his mother escaped with, uh, from his father, who had been raping him for the past three years. For the next six years, he lived in appalling conditions in an attic of an old house. He was hospitalized several times for serious complications due to heat stroke. When he was 15 years old, his mother got back on her feet and started making enough money to move them into a small house. Nevertheless, his school counselor, counselor told that Aaron Huber was a quiet child and outcast overlooked by his peers, especially the girls. At age 18, he enlisted in the army, where he became interested in religion. After his service, he entered the Catholic uh, seminar or seminary, and decided to devote himself to the church. At 28, he became a priest, but he almost lost everything when a demonstration that he organized, Drugs Are Satan's Doorway, ended in a brawl and then a mass arrest. All right. So his father was raping him. Uh, he's been hospitalized several times. He's just a heat stroke. Uh, and, um, yeah, he doesn't like heat. Doesn't have panic attacks. Okay, let's proceed. Hey, buddy. Aaron Hubert, uh, so you like little boys? No, that's not, this is how your parents taught you to treat children? Uh, I myself am a religious man, and I hate all these stereotypes. You're not really a pedophile, are you? Oh, this is how your parents taught you to treat children? What? How did you know that? God save me! Oh. That's, yeah. So you had a thing going on with your mother, right? So it was your father who instilled in such a strong love for little boys. Maybe you can't think of some people... Who hate you so bad they would plant these disgusting pictures of us to find... Okay, no, so is your father. Is your father? Please, I don't want to talk about this. No, you're going to have to. What did your father do to you? So what do you want to talk about? Maybe you can think of something we'd like to hear. Maybe you won't go to prison and suffer the same fate as your victims. I'll bring the doll over and you show me everything that you... Okay, let's pray together. Now let's leave this one. Yes, I have sinned and I will answer before God, but you don't need... To you don't need me. What's happened to the church? Far darker. They're building a gateway to the devil. Oh, tell me everything. Prostitution, drugs, guns. Uh, gu drugs, I'm assuming it's drugs. I don't know much, but Father Joseph Costello is involved somehow. Oh. At night, Joseph Costello quickly brings drugs into the church and hides them inside. I'll tell you everything I know. He confessed. He confessed. Let's start the investigation into Joseph Costello. Look how quickly that was, Gordon. Take Johnson with you. I should just put every. Why didn't I just put everyone on that? <laughs> Due to difficult economic situations, we had to undertake a series of pension cuts as a cost-saving measures. We can't run the city into the ground, and some lazy old people who can't afford to care for themselves every day, dozens of retirees come to us, threatening to arrange a protest. A large gathering of elderly people can be a serious situation. After all, we're taking. We're taking, talking about people in poor health. We can't let that happen, so those activists need to be sent packing their vacation homes. The use of force is sanctioned if required. I'm not using force on old people. 
Going to a friend's in the city's birthday party. Additional police support will be required. Okay, take the little three up. Just the uh, crap guys. I'm not gonna protest a fucking force by 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 physical altercation. They're old people. Come on. And old people protest. Several hundred people. Old people I'm surrounded by the trade union. Building with po posters reading the city robbed me. The protest pr is proceeding peacefully and without incident. Of course, it's proceeding without incident. They're old people. Yeah, I'm not sending anyone. Jack, you swore an oath to the city if you can't. No, fuck you. That's that's fucking ridiculous. Okay. See this? I'm I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I am so dumb, so dumb. And I watched my last video because I was editing it. So I knew I had to have Moser in for this thing. I just completely forgot. I'm an idiot. I'm I'm a, I'm an idiot. Stupid. Stupid. You 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 dumb. You dumb. Oh god, there's what the hell? An assault on the beach. Oh my god, a man attacked a mixed race couple who were walking along the beach. All right, Sims, you're going to take Wolf and these people. Um I may just do an archive of this and eventually just start up the other one. Here's your week's salary. 91. Oh, that's Fantastic assault. When a man tried to get away without paying, the taxi driver decided to teach the man a lesson. According to the eyewitness, the driver grabbed the guy by the collar, pulled him out of the car, and beat his ass. Hey, Vandal. Condo in Spain. Let's go uh, beat this guy's ass too without paying. Pay the fucking cab, man. Just for fuck's sake, just pay the goddamn cab driver. Labor union. I uh, accidentally picked this for thinking that I would find out the uh, cops' political views. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what it is. It's hire a snitch. Hire a snitch, pay an employee to gather information, important information for you. This is the guy that I want. All right. Oh, my God. It's per person? It's fucking per person that I got to do this for? Oh, my God. Fine. Quando. Find out Quando and what he thinks. Oh, oh, look at this. Mayor Rogers. Okay, so now, now we have the like lights behind these guys. So Rose Pierre. All right, he's Mayor Rogers. Ah, all right, we're getting somewhere now. Child abuse. Decorated veteran Andy Castro dragged his son out of his school and into the streets and began to publicly punish him for secretly smoking. He beat the boy with a belt until he bled, knocking him to the ground. Put his knees on the boy's chest and force-fed him a carton of cigarettes. The principal of the school called in the incident. The man lost his mind in the war and is looking like he just might kill the boy. The PE teacher tried to intervene, but the man pulled out a gun and made it clear that he didn't need any help parenting. Oh, I think you do. Mitchell and Mefford, we're going to take God Bomber. You guys are also the same political views. Now, obviously, i got to split these guys in polit polit political ways because heaven forbid anything should happen and I get screwed over. These guys are already there. What the hell is this little thing? What the hell is that little thing? I'm gonna find out. Uh, you're gonna take McCoy. I'm just gonna send McCoy. What the fuck is this little thing? Seems to have alcohol problems. Hogan. You, you shouldn't be an alcoholic. You're Hulkamania. You make children happy, Mr. Boy. The roof of my skyscraper is open to the public and it has recently become a favorite spot to commit suicide. Already three people have jumped off. These incidents are ruining my building's reputation. And it is dreadfully difficult to clean the brains off of expensive Spanish paved stone. That's disgusting, dude. That's... No! Please send over a trained officer who can teach my guards to spot potential suicide amongst our visitors and how to interrogate with these nutcases in case anything else happens. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take... Let's put Perez there. I'll take Perez there. He's only one. That way I have an even amount of cops here with their different political views that I can send out. Investigation has started in the assault. There's a lot happening today. Jesus Christ. Mrs. Court, victim. Me and Alex were just having a quiet walk along the beach when some guy ran up and hit Alex in the back of the head with a fist. Alex fell down and the man grabbed me by the hair and started yelling that I were that I was worse than a whore for laying down with a dark-skinned man. I tried to escape, but the freak held me tight. Then I saw he was wearing brass knuckles and a blade flipped out of them. Oh my god. And he cut my cheeks. The pain was really bad. He shouted something like, Now everyone will know who you are. A slut with no soul. Then he ran. Blood was covered in my face, but I saw he was headed toward the parking lot. Oh my god. Alex Jacob. I didn't see anything. All I remember is a heavy blow to the back of the head. Then everything went dark. When I came to, I saw the ambulance and the police were here. The girl's cheek was cut with a small blade. The man was stunned by the powerful blow of the head. Judging by the bruise on the man's head, this assault struck him with brass knuckles. Around the crime scene were found traces of blood and baseball. And a baseball. And a baseball, all right. Uh, Jing Mi, witness in the parking lot. I just pulled into the park. I saw a small, gray-haired man quickly getting into a rusty pickup truck. I noticed him particularly because his arm was covered in blood. I thought he must have really hurt or... Or he was been really hurt. I wasn't surprised. This beach is ours. Even in the winter, it's like a minefield of broken bottles. All right. Uh, 
That's, that's this is interesting. Oh, look, there's more. The Punisher, Joseph Costello, s stays late in the church, brings in the goods and stashes them. The drugs are packed in small colored bags and hidden in the bottom of the box wines and fresh beer. Okay, vehicle covers the white Jeep. You can spot them by church. Okay. Boxer are carried into the church by drivers and Joseph Costello hides the drugs in a stash, which is located in the library behind one of the bookshelves. There are only one blue book on his shelf. Okay, all right. Let us go in here. Let, no, no, not in there. Let's go to investigations. There is a lot of stuff here. This guy, I'm, I, I'm trying to arrest the shit right now. We have assault. Details. Details on this. I think this this is that one. All right. And then we have detectives in this one. So I don't. I think my. I think my other my other uh, shift has a lot more available detectives. Yeah, they do. They do. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go here. We're going to archive this motherfucker. We're going to open this one up. He's 640. He's 610. Alright, we're just going to put all our other detectives. Okay, now that there's the colors behind this, it, it makes it hard to pick the ones that are not at home. Alright, so everyone's going to do this one. Uh, we have the strongest detective on this right now. Moser will, I think... Yeah, well, Moser is just a dick. So I can archive this eventually and reassign Moser as the main detective, but for now, I don't need to do it, and that's perfectly fine. So let's go over here, and we're just waiting to get these calls back. All right, animal abuse. Several people in the apartment complex have reported that their cats have gone missing in the stairwell. Oh, cats are like that. I have three of my own. One of them will just leave my house sometimes and just, like, meow in the hallway. And I ask him, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, meow. Meow. Okay, you're, you, you're ready. You can relax. I have another one that goes out, and he just, like, meows instantly come back in. What a puss. This is the seventh time this month. We know there's some kind of crazy witch on the second floor kidnapping these poor animals and doing terrible things to them. Please, you have to stop her. A crazy witch on the second floor? Really? What? A, a witch? I, I feel like I have to respond. I, I don't like animal abuse. I have to respond to an animal abuse call. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to. Because that's, that's not cool, dude. That's not cool. Child abuse? Offender caught. There we go. Thank God. He's just st stopped stuffing fucking shit in the guy, the kid's mouth. We have a mixture of political views here. And an alcoholic, apparently. For fuck's sakes. Hogan. Hogan, you've really, you really let me down a little bit, man. Atkins Corp? All right, 2,000 grand. 2,000 bucks. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. There's a man running down the street with a syringe, pricking everyone he passes, claiming he... Claiming to have infected them with AIDS. Oh my god, that is a terrifying situation. Yeah, you four can go deal with this guy. That's pretty intense. And that's one of my, you know what? One of my biggest fears, I, I don't, the cats were attracted to a smell in the cellar. All of them were found alive and well. Okay, there we go. I'm an idiot for going to a call where somebody calls a person a witch. Oh my god, bomb threat. A man with a Spanish accent just called in threatening to blow up the bridge unless Freebird Prison releases a group of freedom fighters he called his brothers. Um, no. No, you know what? I'm just gonna take all these guys. Let's see what happens here. I got SWAT with me too. But no, that's, uh, you don't do that. We don't do that. That is very wrong. A man chased a girl into a telephone booth. She's holding the door closed, but the man has pushed his syringe-wielding arm into the booth. That's terrifying. I hate syringes. I really do. Shoot the man with a taser. Try to pull the man away. I bought the shirt and shout, Hey, man, you got one of those shots for me? <laughs> I can just see a cop doing that. Oh, no. Shoot the man with a taser. Like, that's that's pretty intense. Uh, I'm not getting anywhere near him. Because, frankly, I don't need any of my guys to get fucking pricked. And I really hope he actually wasn't infecting them with AIDS. Because that's that's a, that's a severe crime right there. You're willingly knowing you're giving somebody AIDS. You know what? Just like the like with, with sexual activities as well. If you know that you have an actual inf disease or something. And you willingly go out and have sex with people knowing that you'd spread it. You actually can be uh, charged for that. So you gotta be very cautious about what you do. Bomb threat. Good. Good, so we, we weren't that concerned. Everyone, everybody gets everything on this, and he legitimately had explosives. Now, last episode, we found out Sand died! Sand! Fucking died! You, fucking Chaffee just put a bullet between his head. Um, and unfortunately, we can't ask the Mafia to sell it, because there is no more Mafia. So, our police evidence locker is gonna get a shit ton of stuff coming in all of a sudden. What? We All of a sudden, we're just getting uh, calls that require evidence. I don't know, we didn't have it before. Massive fight. An actor started quarreling with the director during rehearsals. You have to, you'll have to cut off my head and put me in the ridiculous hat. The director wouldn't give up. The fight broke out, and some of the actors' colleagues stood up for him. So pretty much, he was put intended to wear a dumbass hat. Um, oh, we can take some guys. We can take Van Damme, McCoy, Revick, and Girin. Oh, I fucked that one up with McCoy. No, McCoy, Revick. 
yeah, we well, can take these guys. Look, they're all the same political views. You know what's funny? Maybe the, nothing actually happens with the political views. They're just like make it color coded now, so you have to kind of think about sending the same colors instead of the other colors, and also having a good variation of colors. Because you know what? What's my other shift like? What's my other shift like? That's a good. That's a good, a good, decent split. It's not a bad split. No, it's fine. I'm. A, I'm good. I'm a good. I'm a good. I can't do anything there. Can't do the police station. Labor union can't do church. I can do a bunch of shit, but I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing there. Um. I can't get any of that guy. Officer slot, secret account, safe firing, a party. If you're lucky, assortments can go to a luxury party and relax properly. You know what? Let's do a party. Yeah, let's do a party. Some of these guys need to relax. Like, look at this. Some of these guys are very low energy and very low health. We got to get some of these guys to, you know, get get back get back into it. Get get your energy back up. You know what I mean? Let's get some spit. Let's get spit. We're gonna get all the fucking um, sand supporters. To go on a party, right? That's not Sand. Uh, Rogers, Mayor Rogers supporter. Sand is dead. I'm getting confused. It's too much shit. Too much shit going on here. Retreat. I've never hit the retreat button. I'm not going to hit that. Uh, I got no greens to give you. You guys should be fine. Drug possession. I got three new frames. Yay! Look at this. Uh, drugs. Uh, drugs. 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 And more drugs. All right. That's that's a lot of drugs. You guys caught him. You didn't need my help at all. Nobody was harmed either. Like you guys did a good job. Everyone did well. Is this is the day over? Because this has been one hell of a long ass day. Now I understand the color codings. I understand that. Uh, that one's blue now. That one's oh, there's there's green. I was gonna say I'm like I, I've been seeing red and blue. I've not seen green yet though. And uh, yeah, everyone everybody did well. Let's end the day. <laughs>